Mounting procedure for sealed spherical roller bearings on an adapter sleeve using the angular method. This video is intended to be used together with document TI 0908-PDF, which includes illustrated mounting instructions, a table showing individual tightening angles and locking screw torques. Here you can see the components and tools you need. The components you'll need are delivered in two separate boxes. One box contains a sealed spherical roller bearing, the other contains an adapter sleeve and lock nut. Tools include protective gloves, some light mineral oil, an SKF hook spanner, a felt tip pen, a hammer, and a torque wrench. Now we're ready to go to work. Start by wiping off any preservative or dirt from the shaft. Then apply a thin coat of light mineral oil and work it around the entire area where the sleeve will be placed. Now remove the sleeve from the package and wipe the preservative from the bore and outside surface. Once the sleeve is clean, apply a light coat of thin mineral oil to the bore of the sleeve. Carefully slide the sleeve into the position on the shaft. Then, with the sleeve in place, unwrap the bearing and wipe the preservative from the bore. Be sure to apply a thin coat of light mineral oil so that the bearing is easier to mount. Push the bearing up onto the sleeve until the bearing just makes full contact with the sleeve. Then chamfer facing the bearing, run the nut up the thread until it contacts the bearing. Continue to tighten the nut, just enough so that the self-locking sleeve makes full contact with the shaft and the sleeve is firmly in place. Do not drive the bearing any further up the sleeve than necessary. This is important. If the bearing is pushed too far up the sleeve, it can decrease clearance in the bearing. Before going any further, let's determine how far we need to tighten the nut. In this case we're mounting a BS2 2213 2CSK bearing. According to the table included in the mounting instructions, you will see that the nut needs to be turned clockwise 120 degrees. If you look at the nut, you will see grooves on the side. Each groove represents 15 degrees, which means that we need to count 8 grooves because 8 times 15 equals 120. Using a felt tip pen, mark the start location on the nut and shaft. Then count 8 grooves and make another mark on the shaft. Using an SKF hook spanner, tighten the nut so that the mark you made on the nut lines up with the mark on the shaft. From this angle it doesn't look like the two marks are aligned, but they are. Then reposition the spanner 180 degrees and tap the spanner handle lightly with a hammer. This will straighten the bearing if it's skewed on the shaft. The final step is to torque the locking screw on the nut to specification. Be sure to check the torque specifications before you tighten the locking screw. Over tightening or under tightening the locking screw could result in damage to either the shaft or bearing soon after the machine is put into operation. As a final check, turn the shaft or outer ring by hand. Note that for large bearings this can be quite difficult due to the weight of the bearing or shaft 
and drag losses resulting from grease and the seal. Installing a sealed spherical roller bearing is not difficult and can be done quite accurately if you take your time, follow the correct procedures and use proper tools.